Pierre Gasly seemed to have gotten the opportunity of a lifetime when he was called to the senior Red Bull team after the shock departure of Daniel Ricciardo at the end of 2018. However, his stay would be short as he would be demoted back to Alpha Tauri after just 12 races. Gasly, though, has had an impressive run since then that has included a podium and a victory with Alpha Tauri. Many felt that this warranted a promotion for Gasly, but Red Bull senior management has made it clear that they will be keeping Gasly at Alpha Tauri. This has led some to suggest that Gasly would look to leave the Red Bull family for greener pastures, but Alpha Tauri team principal Franz Tost has now explained why that won't happen anytime soon while speaking to Motorsport. I'm your host, Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, why Red Bull won't release Pierre Gasly anytime soon. Tost started by explaining how it is natural for other teams to show interest in a driver like Gasly. You know, if a driver is as competitive as Pierre, other teams will of course ask questions about the contractual details. They all want to know if and when a driver is available. Pierre improved a lot. He has reached a real high level now. He then pointed out how Gasly has become the kind of driver everyone wants to build their team around. He is now an experienced driver, and also a successful driver. Each team is built around a successful driver. What does that mean? The fact that the team listens to the technical feedback of the driver also influences the new design of the car. Let me put it another way. The designers and engineers take the feedback from such a good driver into account. That car is more suited to his driving style. That is the state of affairs. He summed up his words by explaining why Gasly will stay in the Red Bull family for the foreseeable future. He has a contract with Red Bull, and I don't think Red Bull will release him anytime soon. They have invested a lot of money in him, and sooner or later they want to reap the benefits, get good results, win races, and also championships. We will see. Fast feed. Haas team principal Gunther Steiner thinks that if it's almost never done to compete with two rookies, that does not automatically mean for him that it is doomed to fail. He added that he does not want to downplay the risk, but they may think a little differently from other teams, as he remembers when people asked him why they kept Roman for so long. He added that they are not there to do what others do, and that they do what they think makes sense. The results will show whether they are right. He further accepts that a driver like Mick Schumacher can also make mistakes. Aston Martin's Lance Stroll has stated that if you get a good car, you get good results, and then you just build confidence from there. He added that when you're in a bad car and you don't know what it's like to be in a good car until you sit in one, you kind of start to question what your ability is like. Mercedes head designer John Owen thinks that COVID came just at the right time for them. He further revealed that their high-performance powertrains department had discovered a persistent problem and was still looking for a solution. Alpha Tauri team principal Franz Toss doesn't know if Red Bull's Max Verstappen would have achieved the same results without Jos Verstappen. He further explained that Jos taught Max everything he needed as a young boy. For Ferrari's Carlos Sainz, certainly it was a bit annoying, because everyone was kind of implying that Ferrari was going to also be as bad in 2021 as they were in 2020. He is also confident that if there is a team that's able to turn things around quickly in Formula 1, that is Ferrari. Pierre Gasly thinks that Honda have good plans, as he knows a few things which sound good, but he doesn't want to speak for them. He also feels they'll push and give everything until the last race, that they are constantly trying to improve the package. And Ferrari team principal Mattia Bonotto is planning to organise something for Carlos Sainz to make sure he is integrated into the team as soon as possible, and is familiar with the car, the engineers, their way of working, and their procedures. Would Max Verstappen have achieved the same results without his father Jos? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.